computer, router, network card, modem, wall jack. That's how I'm doing internet right now. So today marks 13 years since I found out that I was on the spectrum. And something that's always kind of been in the back of my mind has been, why me? The why me factor. And it has two different phases that it's gone through. And the first why me phase was kind of the pity me, why, why me era, which, you know, basically it was the first 24 years of my life. Why me? You know, why was I the one who got recommended for special education? Why was I the one who couldn't make friends? Why was I the one who had all these problems that no one else did? And I've always wanted to know, you know, where I was as a kid, where exactly I sat on the spectrum. And I read an interesting article once uh, in the local newspaper and it was talking about how special education was in the 1980s when I was a kid versus how it's come today with uh, the ADA and IDEA and all the advancements that they've made since 1990. Uh, a lot of it owes thanks. A lot of that stuff owes thanks, by the way, to a, uh, a senator, state senator here in uh, Iowa, well, not a state senator, a U.S. senator here in Iowa by the name of Tom Harkin who was the uh, driving force behind uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act and I believe he also had a big hand in uh, uh, the individuals uh, with disability or the, uh, uh, the, the IDEA which is basically ADA for kids who are disabled but going back to this article I had read that in order to be See, when I was in uh, grade school, there was the county that I went to, there was a single school, it was called Riverview School, that everybody in the county who needed to go to the school was sent to, all the districts sent their, you know, their worst kids to this school. And I had my evaluation after second grade uh, in 1988, and they highly recommended that I be placed in review and this article was talking about how in order to be in order to act, in order at first you know to even qualify for a seat in this school you had to be working or you had to be at a functional level that was 50 percent or less of what your age was so as an eight-year-old I was evaluated as having a functional level of being a four-year-old or less and I knew several people. <clears throat> I knew several people uh, uh, through junior high school who, looking back on it now, I could easily say they were on the spectrum too. And I know that they were not sent to this school, but yet they wanted me to. And I've always wanted to know just where I sat, where I've sat on the spectrum. And I remember a lot thinking back on memories because I really don't have very many happy memories of as being a kid. I mean, for me, heartbreak and disappointment was the rule of the day, pretty much. I remember watching kids, you know, do things at ages that it took me much longer to get. And that was something that always sat in the back of my mind for a very long time. I was three and a half years old when I realized that I was not like the other kids. And so fast forward to 2004 and I find out that I'm on the spectrum and everything's put in, everything was put in perspective for me when I realized that I'm autistic and I was able to kind of make sense of my life for the first time. And now here it is, 13 years later, 
I have a house of my own, I have a job, I have full independence. And I realize just how insanely lucky that I've been. Because every time in my life, uh, when I look back on it, when I needed to have a break of some kind, a good break, it happened. And it all starts, it all started back with my parents refusing to send me to uh, Riverview School. Because if I think if I had been to Riverview School, uh, I don't think I'd be here today. There's actually a lot of things that would have happened. And I'm not really going to go into too much of, too big of a list, but there's a lot of things that happened in my life that had the other course been followed. Uh, I probably would not be here today. I think it's something like only 10% of people who are on the spectrum ever achieve uh, the level of independence that I did. And knowing that where I was on the spectrum, I find myself asking why me? Why am I the one who made it? And that's why I vlog, because I want to try and help answer those questions and maybe along the way help some of you guys who are watching these videos. And I just want to kind of give a little a little addendum to what I was saying uh, at home. I'm at work right now. It's a couple hours later. I'm not going to upload this video till tonight. But when I say why me, especially as it relates to how I am now in the current sense of things, I don't say that as a philosophical thing because I've pretty much, you know, I've pretty much got a lot of stuff figured out as far as, you know, why I was able to get by. But I, I say that kind of in a spiritual sense because... You know, even though I'm not a very religious person, I definitely feel throughout all of this that there's some greater purpose for all what's going on and all what's happened to me. And I say that because as I was talking about back at home, I knew people as a kid growing up who I could easily say were on the spectrum along with me. And even though I seem to be more severely impacted, I seem to have had the best outcome out of all of them. And I know it's unusual for that kind of thing to happen, and I'll definitely take it, but that's what I talk about when I say, you know, why me? There's a lot back in my life that I gotta look back on yet still and try and make sense out of, and on this, the 1st of June, I kind of mark this as an epoch of my life, because I honestly feel that had I not found, uh, had I not found out, I definitely probably would not be here today. I was actually able to graduate college. I did a lot of counseling in college, and those counselors who are at Oshkosh, they really, really helped me make sense of my life and give me strategies to help deal with my life, and I thank them a lot if you're watching this at UW Oshkosh. But I'm just here to help, and if anybody, you know, has questions or something, you can drop me a message, and I'll respond to it. So, I'm going to call this vlog done for the day, and thanks for watching this video, and please like this video, and please comment, and please subscribe to my channel.